Greetings everyone, and for today's Figma quick tip, I'm gonna show you how to create a full flexible table component. So let's get right to it. The first thing to do is to think of each element of each column of my table. The first item will be a text, so I have here column item. Let me hit Shift A to turn it into an outer layout. So let's put it 16 of padding, and that will be a 48 in total height. Give it a few. I'll also add this sorting icon here, and I'll create uh, some variations of it with sorting down, sorting up, and no sorting at all. I'll also create an empty one for the columns that won't have a title and that will be clear a little later. Select all of them, come here to components and create component set, column title, enable them properly, sorting down, sorting up, no sorting, and empty. Now also we'll add stroke in all the elements, but only at the bottom, so it will serve as a divider. These are for our titles, now let's go to the content, let's say an avatar, let me take this text here, put it black, change it to book, keep all of them uh, at the same height, add the fill, stroke, I can have it label, and all of the other options that I see here, so let's go through all of them. Okay, so now I've created all the cells variations that I think I'll be needing to my table. And doing so, I made sure that all of them have the same height, which for me in this case is 48, but you can use whatever you want. And also they always have this stroke at the bottom to serve as a divider once they are put together. Let's select all of them, create component set, call them table items. I'm gonna use them to build my columns and I will create the column as a component as well. Take one of these, bring it here. I'll call it user, take this, duplicate it. Select all of them, Shift A to add an outer layout, call it avatar, avatar column. And for this case, I'll put this as few to follow the size of the cells. Then I can do the same for my other table items. So let's say I want this table cells to be draggable. So I'll have, and in this case, since I don't have any label title here, I use this empty one. So that's for what it is. Duplicate it, add an outer layout, Shift A. Remember to put the same amount. But actually for do the others, duplicate this, select all the table items and simply change it here for checkbox. And let's keep doing this and I'll skip it forward once again. Okay, so now that I have all my columns built, uh, and remember, you can put as many elements as you want. Now I'm going to create component sets and I'll call it table columns. I can simply build my table combining the columns that I need. I'll select it, all, shift A for out layout, call it table. And here you have two options. You can either create a table component with the full set or you can build every new table combining the columns. The thing is that now you have all the elements that are based on atomic design principle and every change will reflect on all your tables. Easily you can swap the content. So let's say I want this dropdown to be a simple text. I can simply go here and change to test column and I can do this for every single column like this. And the same goes for the title. If I don't want this to be sortable, I can simply double click here, base components, and then change into sorting up or sorting down or even no sorting at all. The final touch here is the rescaling of this table. So if I try to rescale the table, as you can see, it won't work because all my columns are set to hug. The way to solve this is to change some of the table items to few instead of hug. Usually I recommend to do them with the text elements. These ones here and change them to Fill container, and as you can see, it seems broke. I can select the column, hit enter to select all the items inside, and hit fill container once again, select all the items inside, and fill container. And now my table is more flexible. So that's the way to solve it. There you have it, flexible table with a variety of elements and you can change them and swap them. And since all the elements inside are components, every change that I do here in my base components will reflect on my final table here. Change these to a bold text. It will reflect in my column component and also in my table. And also for the smaller components inside, let's say the button, for example, I can change the status here by selecting the button itself instead of the default hover and click and so on and so forth. So it's all based in atomic design because I have pre-built this component with their variations. And that's it for this Figma quick tip. I really hope it helps you building your next tables and make them more flexible. If you have any questions, leave in the comments down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and share with your designer folks. I would really appreciate that. And that's it. Bye bye. See you in the next video.